Hi, this is Frank Schaefer, and back in the 70s and 80s, I was a religious right activist along with my father, Francis Schaefer, and one of the things we did was hang around with people like the Billy Graham family, Billy Graham the evangelist, that is, and I met his son, Franklin, who's now gone on to be a kind of a neo-fascist Christian homophobe, and his sister, Gigi, who became a close friend of mine. In fact, I had breakfast with her a couple years ago, and we talked about old times, and then um, his other daughter, Anne, uh, Graham, who's now Ann Lotz Graham, who just posted uh, an interview with um, Jim Baker, who is a convicted felon who was in prison for a few years for fraud uh, after the PTL debacle. You have to be my generation to know this stuff or care, but anyway, they're all crooks and liars and criminals, as we know in the evangelical leadership these days, and they're in very tight with Donald Trump. One of the things that uh, Ann was talking about was that Trump was helping to prepare the way for Jesus to come back by getting the Americans out of northern Syria and betraying the Kurds. She said she had a little problem with his betrayal of the Kurds, but actually God was using him to move out of northern Syria so the Russians could move in and eventually attack Israel, which she feels will be a fulfillment of a biblical prophecy so Jesus can come back. And then, of course, the prophecy she's referring to also predict that all the Jews will be killed by by whomever this northern power is when they invade. And of course, there's nothing in the Bible about Russia or any of this, but she, like the author Hal Lindsey before her and all these flaky evangelicals who, who try to sell books about this prophetic nonsense, says that Russia is this great power of the north that will eventually destroy Israel and then Jesus will return. All I want to say is, is that this would be funny and sad and one would feel sorry for her and all the other demented white evangelical followers of Billy Graham and others if it were not for the fact that they elected Donald Trump and that he moved the embassy of the United States from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and gave the Israelis the go-ahead to annex big chunks of the West Bank and steal the land there and uh, perpetuate eternal strife in the Middle East, all because evangelical Christian Zionists believe that somehow we have to be on the side of Israel in order that God can send Russia and other northern powers to destroy it. Just take a minute and think about that. She's telling us that what Trump did is okay, and he's still being used by God like King Cyrus. She says so in this video. All because, uh, all because it's going to be a harbinger of the return of Jesus. So I just want to say we're in trouble. Evangelicals are a threat to this country. They're a threat because through Donald Trump, their foreign policy ideas founded on what? What's good for the United States? No. What's good for the return of Jesus are now driving, getting votes. And so, of course, he'll give them whatever they want. That's how far we've come. So watch this little video of hers and then lament with me, laugh, cry, weep, above all, vote Democrat in 2020 and sweep this insane package of people appearing on Jim Baker's show, a felon, a convicted felon for fraud. Anne Grant, crazy woman, but there she is with direct access to the president of the United States and her brother Franklin is one of his big supporters. Go figure and watch this. My name's Frank Schaefer. I was asking you in the green room about your brother we were talking about Syria and, and, and Trump and all, and you, you commented on it. Yeah. I don't know. You know, who knows what's going on over there? But, um, but I believe whether the president is aware of it or not, God has placed him in office. The Bible tells us that, That's you right. know, that he puts people in office and that God has used him in an amazing way uh, to stand up for life, to stand up for the nation of Israel, to appoint judges that abide by the Constitution and the rule of law. And so, um, so I, I voted for him in the beginning because of the alternative. I couldn't, uh, because of the policies of the alternative, I couldn't vote for her. And right. then I became a supporter. Now I'm almost a fan. But this last move, <laughs> when he's pulled back from Syria and exposed the Kurds to Turkey, that I, I'm like a lot of people, what in the world is going on? But, I, but because I believe God has used him, whether he, whether he really is, knows it or not, I believe like King Cyrus or uh, others in the Old Testament, Nebuchadnezzar, God uses them. And so uh, I thought, has God caused him to go against all of his advisors, all of the military people, and done something that God wanted him to do, whether he knows it's God or not? He just, maybe he was just bullheaded or stubborn or somebody rubbed him wrong. But anyway, he pulled us out. And, and the thought occurred to me, there's a war prophesied in Ezekiel 38 mm -hmm. that has not yet taken place. And I think some of that prophecy, you know, I'm not a prophecy expert, but I feel like some of that chapter mixes it up with Armageddon. So there's, um, 
you know, how prophecy does. You're going to have a verse about this and a verse, next verse about another one, but it all seems to go together. Anyway, right. but there is a, a war that's predicted that has never happened. Mm -hmm. And um, when uh, Gog, the prince of Magog, who some people believe is um, Putin and Russia, and they, they come down from the north and they align with mm -hmm. Turkey and Syria and Russia, or Tur Syria and Russia and um, the Sudan and Libya, and then they come up and they go against Israel. And the, Ezekiel 38 says that God has done it because he's bringing them against Jerusalem because he's going to judge them and he's going to destroy them. And so I, I wondered, did God move Trump to, to move Americans out of the way, freeing up Russia to come down like the Bible says he, they will? And then a friend who's in the news business sent me a picture of our American base in northern Syria that the day after we left was filled with Russian troops and they had moved into our Russian base. They're now in northern Syria. They're, you know, so, so I'm just wondering if it's like a chessboard and if the pieces are being moved to set up maybe um, the, the last of the last days, which, but, but yes. maybe also that Ezekiel 38 war that has yet.